On April 17, 1955, Albert Einstein was hospitalized for severe chest pain. His aorta, the body's largest vessel, had swollen and ruptured, leading to internal bleeding from an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Although he had previously undergone a similar surgery eight years earlier, Einstein declined further medical intervention, uttering, I will die whenever you want. There is no pleasure in prolonging life artificially. I have completed my mission. It's time to go. He peacefully passed away the following day, a plans Borough Hospital. Einstein's autopsy took a remarkable turn. Pathologist Thomas Harvey, captivated by Einstein's genius, removed his brain without family consent and preserved it in 10% for Malik. Despite Einstein's wish for his body's destruction and ashes to be scattered secretly, Harvey secured retroactive permission from Einstein's son for a brain examination focused on calculations. The findings were published in respected academic journals. 